All right. Uh, another quick tip that came up this week was I went to I've upgraded the studio iMac is now on Monterey and it, the upgrade, quite frankly, could not have gone any more smoothly. Like I, all I did was do the upgrade and it was like, yeah, everything just works. It's great. Like I didn't even I, I remember when you did yours, your some of your audio devices got re enumerated or whatever, mm -hmm. John. I didn't. I, I mean, I checked because I knew that that had happened to you. That didn't even happen to me. Super smooth. I mean, he says podcasting actively and not knocking on wood yet, but I will. So, um, but I did notice that uh, on this machine, Xcode would not upgrade, and it wouldn't upgrade because it was saying that I had no free space. And I was like, well, I mean, like, I, I, okay, why? And I looked. And it was like that classic scenario of, okay, of the one terabyte drive that I have on this machine, I can see about 600 gigs used and then what's happening to the rest. So I decided to go and look at my snapshots uh, on in Carbon Copy Cloner. And sure enough, so on, on Carbon Copy Cloner, you go to volumes uh, you go to the slash or the dash data volume of whatever, uh, you know, whatever your boot volume is and uh, and then go to snapshots, not related tasks. And here you can see all of the uh, all of the snapshots that exist on your uh, on your drive. You're not going to see them on the non data volume. Uh, I guess I guess there might be some there, but I don't think so. Uh, I don't think they have the the ability to uh, to see those, but they do get to see them on the data volume, and the um, the way that it th there's an interesting thing because you'll see snapshots for uh, time machine, but then you'll also see snapshots for things like that carbon copy cloner has put out there or things that you have manually put out there, right? And it will start to, it will, when you pull this screen up, it takes a minute and then it will show you the size of each of these. You can go in and delete them from here, which is huge in Carbon Copy Cloner. But the interesting part was at the bottom of the screen where you get to control the expiration policies for Carbon Copy Cloner snapshots. And I noticed that my drive had 30 gigs free. Uh, and it has always had 30 gigs free for months, like since Xcode wouldn't update. Now, I don't do any real development on this machine, so it didn't matter to me. But it was sort of a, you know, a, a thing that niggled at my brain. And sure enough, I looked and the free space requirement on Carbon Copy Cloner settings was 50 gigs or 30 gigs. I've now changed it to 50 uh, because, you know, I, I wanted to have more. But um, you can you can set how it expires snapshots, including time machine snapshots, uh, and then also what the minimum free space is that you would set for uh, for it to, you know, erase until it gets you to that point. And that's why I was sitting at uh, at 30 gigs, because that's evidently what it was set to by default. Once the sizes come up on your screen for all the snapshots, you can sort them by size and start to see, OK, what are the ones that are taking up, you know, all the space for me here? And I, I had some on this machine, John, that were like, you know, 12 gigs, you know, 15 gigs worth of snapshots. And so I was like, all right, well, let's get rid of those. And, you know, and, and now I think I've got I don't know what, what it's telling me. I've got 140 gigs free. But it but Carbon Copy Cloner will tell you, you know, for example, on this machine, I've got 220 gigs used just from snapshots. Uh, you can also see snapshots now in disk utility, but you don't have quite the same ability to manage them. So just for what it's worth. Pretty interesting, though, huh? Anybody? Am I alone here? <laughs> sure. Hello? Exactly. Hello? Yeah. Cool. Great. Well, that's awesome. I'm going to play with that later. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. The problem was I put something on the screen. And so, I, you know, I'm one nerd talking about it, but I have two nerds with me that are looking at a screen being like, oh, what's this interface? So, <laughs> I understand why you were silent, but yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. So that is uh, that, that's that's how I would manage snapshots these days. And it's a good place to look, especially if you're having that issue where, you know, the volume is just unexplicably full 